Hello, you're watching the Star News Update. I'm Himalata Subramaniam. A day after Dato Sri Sharizad Abdul Jalil announced her decision to contest the Vanita chief post, the incumbent Tan Sri Rafida Aziz has come out with guns blazing. In a 10-page statement, Rafida, who is the member of parliament for Kuala Kangsa, says she will defend her Vanita Amnu chief post for the 2009 to 2011 term. However, Rafida did not say if she would now hand over the post to her new deputy in June if she wins. Housing and Local Government Minister Dato Sri Ong Ka Chuan will accept any decision made by the party and the government leadership on his cabinet post. Ka Chuan said this in a statement Friday in response to the speculations in the media over the past week over his cabinet position. The statement, however, did not mention whether he had submitted a resignation resignation letter to party president Dato Sri Ong Ti Kiat. The Penang government will proceed with its decisions to use multilingual road signs and street names to promote Georgetown as a World Heritage Site. Chief Minister Lim Guan Eng says it is merely adding English, Tamil, Chinese, Arabic and Jawi in the signboards while retaining Basa Malaysia in deference to it being the national language. He says this is part of the effort to attract more tourists to visit Penang after the recognition by UNESCO as a World Heritage Site. He says the multilingual road signs can help many foreign tourists in exploring Penang as a multiracial, multicultural and multireligious city. Local car makers Proton and Produa will start retrofitting cars with rest seat belts from next month. This is in line with the government's decision to enforce the use of seat belts by back seat passengers from January 1st next year. Road Safety Department Director General Dato Surit Singh told reporters Friday, motorists will be reminded of the new safety measure. Hopefully most of them will already be wearing by then, but those who are not wearing, uh, then they will be tago, uh, they will be stopped and they will be going given this notice, which will be a dry run mock enforcement program for two weeks as the final reminder and on 1st January then the summons will start. Proton will begin retrofitting rare seat belts on December 1st for its customers in Peninsula Malaysia and January 1st next year for those in Sabah and Sarawak. Produa's exercise will kick off on December 15th. The rare seat belts law took effect on June 1st. For more updates, log on to thestaronline.tv. I'm Hemalata Subramanian. Thanks for watching.